Hello students, this is your English teacher, Mrs. Aisha. Today, we are going to learn an interesting poem from your literature text. In the Bazaars of Hyderabad by Sarojini Naidu. Let me give you a brief introduction of our poet Sarojini Naidu. She was born in the year 1879 and uh, passed away in the year 1949. She was known as the Nightingale of India. Sarojini Naidu was an Indian politician, activist and poet, a proponent of civil rights and women's emancipation. She was an important figure in India's struggle for independence from colonial rule. Naidu's work as a poet earned her the sobriquet Nightingale of India by Mahatma Gandhi. She has written volumes of poetry. The most notable works are The Golden Threshold, the bird of time in the bazaars of Hyderabad and many more. Let us go through the brief of the poem and the theme. The poem in the bazaars of Hyderabad is a brilliant piece of writing by our very own Sarojini Naidu. To understand the context for writing this poem, you first need to know that Sarojini Naidu was a major political figure in the Indian freedom movement in the first half of the 20th century. She was the president of Indian National Congress and the first woman governor in India. And as for the context, the poem was written as a part of the Swadeshi movement. Now this Swadeshi movement is the theme of the poem. During that freedom movement, the Indians decided to boycott European merchandise and use the Indian products instead. Through this poem, in the bazaars of Hyderabad, Sarojini wanted to convey the message that India is rich in tradition and they don't need foreign products. So, she goes on to give a picture of a bazaar where traditional Indian products are ruling. The poem is in the form of questions and answers. The poet asks the questions and the merchants answer them. Through this technique, she makes the picture of the bazaar visible to us. Let us go through the poem. First, I will read the stanza and then explain. What do you sell, O ye merchants? Richly your wares are displayed turbans of crimson and silver, tunics of purple brocade, mirrors with panels of amber, daggers with handles of jade. Now I will explain. The poem begins with the poet's question to the merchants about what are they selling. She sees that the goods are displayed nicely to attract the buyers. The merchants reply that they are selling crimson, deep red and silver colored turbans, purple brocade, tunics, mirrors with amber frame and daggers with handles made of jade. Jade means a precious stone. What do you weigh, O oh, ye vendors? Saffron and lentil and rice. 
What do you grind, O ye maidens? Sandalwood, hina, and spice. What do you call, O ye peddlers? Chessmen and ivory dice. Let us go through the explanation now. Ye means ye vendors means you vendors. Okay, the poet then visits the vendors, the maidens, and the peddlers. Peddlers means salesmen. She asks the vendors what they are weighing for sale. The vendors reply that they are weighing saffron. lentil and rice the poet then asks the maiden girls what are they grinding the reply that they are grinding sandalwood hina and spices and now the peddlers are asked what they are calling as their trade cry they say that they are selling chessmen and dice made from ivory for the game of chess what do you make o oh ye goldsmiths wristlet and anklet and ring bells for the feet of the blue pigeons frail as a dragon's fly's wing girdles of gold for dancers scabbards of gold for the king now let me go through the explanation first wristlet means a band or bracelet worn on the wrist and scabbards means the sheath of sword the poet now goes up to goldsmiths and asks them what they are making they are making wristlet anklet and ring to adorners and bells to be tied to the feet of blue pigeons and the bells are as delicate and as lightweight as the wings of the dragon fly they are also making girdles of gold for the dancers and the golden sheaths for keeping the king's swords the extract here uses simile in the line frail as a dragon flies wing to compare the bells to the delicate wings of a dragon fly a simile is a figure of speech in which a direct comparison is made between two different objects using like or as what do you cry o ye fruitmen citron pomegranate and plum what do you play o musicians sitar sarangi and drum what do you chant o magicians spells for eons to come now listen to the explanation the poet now asks the fruit sellers what fruits are they selling they answer that they are selling citron pomegranate and plum now as the poet asks the musicians what instruments they are playing they reply that they are playing on sitar sarangi and drum after that the poet goes to the magicians and asks them what they are chanting the reply comes he is chanting the spells to bring in a divine power who would help him perform his magical tricks what do you weave o oh ye flower girls with tassels of azure and red crowns for the brow of a bridegroom chaplets to garland his bed 
sheets of white blossoms new garnered to perfume the sleep of the dead now listen to the explanation in the last stanza of the poem the poet asks the flower girls what they are weaving with the azure azure means a deep bright blue color and red tassels tassels means loose hanging threads or cords the flower girls are making garlands for the bride and the groom they are also making sheets of newly gathered white flowers for use on the dead people's grave for fragrance so hence we can conclude children that in this poem sarojini naidu describes the magnificent things of life along with the common scenes in the bazaars of hyderabad the poem is set in the form of conversations between customers and the vendors sarojini naidu has repeatedly asked questions in every stanza about the different kinds of goods sold in the bazaar well this is the end of the poem i hope you enjoyed it have a good time